Welcome to Designer Digital's Bi-Weekly Tip, July 13, 2012. This week using blend modes with masks in Photoshop and Elements. Blending modes in Photoshop and Elements determine the way that two layers combine with one another. Understanding the modes opens a wide range of creative possibility for your digital projects. To use a blending mode with a mask, mat, or block, you'll begin by opening a new blank document. Open and drag a background paper onto the document. Next, open and drag a mask onto the document, and then repeat with a photo. Using the Move tool, make sure that the photo completely covers the mask, and then clip the mask to the photo by selecting the Photo layer and pressing Ctrl-G or on a Mac System Command-G in Elements, or press Alt-Ctrl-G or on a Mac system, Option Command G in Photoshop. This will make the photo take on the shape of the mask like mine has done here. Now apply a blending mode to the mask layer. Applying a blending mode to the photo layer will not produce satisfactory results with this technique, so make sure to select the mask layer. Locate the blending modes drop down menu at the top of the layers panel. It defaults to normal. Click the drop down menu and select normal. Then you can use the down arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll through the mode. This allows the pixels in the masked photo to interact with the background paper you've chosen. The blend modes are divided into six categories, divided into boxes here on the drop down menu. Each blending mode compares the color values of the photo layer to the color values of the background layer, and then it combines them in a unique way. Here's a brief explanation of the function of each of the blending modes. The basic modes are normal and dissolve. Normal is the default mode that doesn't blend the layers at all. The top layer retains all of its original pixels, and it's the one you'll use most often. The next basic mode is dissolve. This mode replaces random semi-transparent pixels of the top layer with the colors of the bottom layer. The next set are the Darken modes. Each of these modes darkens the image. Darken compares the pixels of the photo to the pixels of the background, and it shows you the darker of the two. Multiply, as the name suggests, multiplies the color information in the layers, resulting in a darker color. Color Burn darkens the image by burning the colors of the photo layer into the background layer, like you're using the Burn tool. Linear Burn multiplies and increases the contrast of the pixels, while Darker Color multiplies and reduces the brightness of the pixels. The next set are the Lighten Modes. These modes lighten the image in specific ways. They function as opposites of the Darken Mode. Lighten compares the pixels of the photo to the pixels of the background and shows the lighter of the two. Screen, like the opposite of Multiply, multiplies the inverse of the color information in the layers, resulting in a lighter image. Color Dodge uses the pixels in the photo layer to dodge the pixels in the bottom layer, like the Dodge tool. Linear Dodge compares and brightens the darker color, decreasing the contrast of the pixels. Lighter Color compares and brightens the darker color, increasing the brightness. The next set are the Contrast Modes. These modes darken and lighten the image to increase the contrast. Overlay multiplies the light colors and screens the dark colors. I use this one quite often. Soft light burns the dark colors and dodges the light colors, and I use this one fairly often as well. Hard light multiplies the dark colors and screens the light colors. Vivid light burns the light colors and dodges the dark colors using the difference in contrast of the background paper. Linear light burns the light colors and dodges the dark colors using the difference in the brightness of the background paper. Pen light multiplies the darker colors and screens the lighter colors using the photo layer. Hard mix adds the values of the photo layer to the values of the background layer with darks becoming black and lights becoming white. Values between become primary colors. The Compare modes affect the pixels that are identical in both layers, so Difference subtracts the brighter color from the darker color, while Exclusion lowers the contrast 
by subtracting darker tones from lighter tones. In Photoshop, the next mode is Subtract. This subtracts the values of one layer from the values of the other layer. Where the result is a negative number, the color is black. Divide divides the values of one layer by the values of the other layer. And again, this is available only in the full version of Photoshop. The next set are the Hue, Saturation, and Luminance modes. These modes change the color of the hue and luminance of the image. The Hue mode displays the hue of the photo with the saturation and luminance of the background paper. The Saturation mode displays the saturation of the photo layer with the luminance of the background paper. The Saturation mode displays the saturation of the photo with the hue and luminance of the background layer. Color mode displays the hue and saturation of the photo layer with the luminance of the background paper. It's the inverse of the last mode, the luminosity mode. The luminosity mode displays the luminance of the photo layer with the hue and saturation of the background layer, which is the inverse of color mode. It only takes a minute to scroll through the blend modes to find the effect that you like best for your project. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Photoshop or Elements tip.